to three testing testing one two three a testing testing one two three let's see how this goes i am doing episode one of oh she talks 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 yes i do oh she talks oh she talks oh she talks yes i do Yes, I do. 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 Yes, I talk. Yes, I talk. Yes, I talk. Yes, I talk. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Oh She Talks, Season 1, Episode 1. I'm so excited, y'all, just to get into the podcasting world. Um, I have wanted to do a podcast for so long. I really always wanted to do this, y'all. It's so interesting because... I don't know if y'all remember like Ustream on like Twitter, but they used to have like this a while ago, like when we were young, young, young. And I love that to just see like all the different people get on there. Like it was celebrities at the time that would get on there and kind of just like be themselves and just do all these fun things and talk to, you know, the people who um, support them. And I just remember always envisioning envisioning like me and my friends um, at the time with like a group of us just getting together and talking and having a podcast but at the time it wasn't called a podcast it would just be us talking in front of a camera and I always wanted to do that but I always wanted to do it with people and it just didn't ever work out like at that time I didn't tell people that I wanted to do that I just always had this idea but it just never worked out like it never presented itself um so that was that and then I wanted to do one with my cousin but we just never got to it um then I did one in 2020 alone and it was just talking about like being an introvert trying to figure yourself out in the pandemic and those kind of things um to now God gave me this name last no this week what was it you know what was it I had my I think he gave it to me Tuesday um and I decided that we're going to just get to it y'all i'm gonna try to be as obedient as possible in this season and i got these mics y'all um off of amazon i was like let me just do it now like instead of just sitting on it let me just do it now because i'm used to just like sitting on ideas and overthinking it i said let's just get to it now oh she talks this is the name of it she talks i do talk y'all like i know people probably will look at this and be like oh she really talking like i am I have introverted tendencies but i do talk like actually a lot if i really like you and comfortable with you <laughs> i talk a lot like ex my cousin who is also my best friend like i talk a lot like we just be having conversations and we talk we just be having conversations and we talk for a long time so i talk a lot if i'm comfortable with you it's it's kind of like I want, like, if I'm into somebody, I want to talk with them all night, y'all. Like, I just want to be on the phone, taking, like, yeah, all the way up to, like, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. Just, yeah. <laughs> like, I talk a lot. And then, for work, I talk so much because I am, um... Uh, support coordinator so I talk a lot for work too and people usually are super comfortable with me um so I just be talking laughing I love to laugh so if you met me you did not laugh when you met me like if I didn't make you laugh or you didn't get a little kiki a ha ha when I met you you didn't really meet me and that's why we reintroducing ourselves <laughs> So, y'all, like I said, on Tuesday, God gave me this name, right? So, he used, um, he was speaking through my therapist, who is phenomenal, by the way. My, I love my therapist. But the Holy Spirit had my therapist tell me, basically, I need to reintroduce myself. I said, oh, bet. So, we are reintroducing ourselves, y'all. I'm looking for my phone. Hold on. Because where my phone go? Oh, here it is. So, um, I'm reintroducing myself. It is May 26th at 1.01 a.m. And we are reintroducing ourselves today. So, I wanted to show y'all the name of um, 
I want to look up the definition of reintroduction because I think like when we think about like um when we think about trying to do something new we always think about rebranding and I felt like God wanted me to move away from the idea of rebranding and reintroduce myself like hey you are Shakira you have unlearned some things you are relearning other things you are learning new things and this is who you are today Shakira at 1 a.m. in the morning, May 26, and on tw- in 2020, uh, 2024, this is who you are. Like, and it's okay to be this. Um, as you learn, um, and it's okay to be here. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to be in this place in your life, like at this moment i feel like i'm exactly where i am supposed to be and i think we get in the habit of wanting to rebrand because we trying to like wipe away something and recreate ourselves and re- reinvent ourselves and god is like no just reintroduce yourself <laughs> baby just reintroduce yourself so let me see what is reintroduce me let me see reintroduce what does it mean to reintroduce someone to introduce someone or something again. It says bring into existence or effect again. Put back into a region where it formerly lived. Mm. Some sentiment, some synonyms. Sorry, y'all. I'm I was talking fast. Some synonyms are restore, reestablish, renew, and reinstate. To put something into use, operation, or place after it has not been used or in a place for some time. Ah, and it's so interesting because I've been wanting to do this. So it's like, he wants me to reintroduce myself and do the thing that I always wanted to do. Reestablish myself. Mm, I like that. Okay, period. And let's see what rebranding means. Rebrand. Rebrand definition. Change the corporate image. See, so to change your image. What do you what do you mean by rebrand? When a company change its logo, slogan, vision, mission, values, name, target, audience, or make or dang, it's like you re you read yeah you you actually found you finding fault in something you actually rebranding god is like you have like why are you trying to find fault in yourself i just need you to reintroduce yourself you ain't got to rebrand reintroduce yourself that's good okay let's pray us in because that was good right there that was a word i don't know if y'all caught it i don't know you know i, I was i was talking through it as i as i'm downloading i don't know if y'all caught what what god is trying to do in the season but let's 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 pray us in so heavenly father Lord god we just thank you for this time of coming together and just being able to reintroduce ourselves, father Lord god whatever that means for each and every one of us i pray father Lord god that through just me speaking today father Lord god through you father Lord god speaking today through heavenly father Lord god this um first episode that you just do a new not even a new you just Help us, Father God, just to dig deep on what it is that you need us to um, reintroduce and how we need to reintroduce ourselves. So we thank you, Father God, for this first episode. We thank you, Father God, for this idea that you have given um, me that has always been to hear. But God, um, me just getting to it and really being obedient in this hour. I pray, Father God, that we all unlock obedience in this hour that we are being radically obedient and doing it immediately help us to stop waiting god but help us to move as soon as you say it god and i pray father of god that you just have your way and you move through us and you be with us decrease me and increase you father of god as i do this first episode and i pray father god that you have your way that this be a safe space for everyone that this just be a time father of god where we are just able just to sit and listen and talk through um 
um, you know, our emotions and the comments, whatever it is that we are feeling. I just pray, Father God, this just grows into a community that you will just be a part of and get the glory from. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. This is the first episode of Oh, She Talks, and she does. She talks. And I want y'all to start talking, too. Like, I just feel like as um, a people who are probably going to watch this, you probably are or have introverted tendencies. Um, and I think in this season, God is trying to push the introvert um, out into the world and the community to reintroduce ourselves and just um, speak and talk more because we have a voice. So in the beginning of the year, God gave me a revelation of how important an introvert or a person who has introverted tendencies, how important our voice truly is. I think we could get so much in our shell and only speak when we feel we we need to or only speak when we feel um, there's a question asked or if somebody asks us for our opinion. But it's sometimes that we need to just speak up and be bold, period, um, about whatever the situation God is talking to us about. So um, even though we may be shy, even though, you know, we may be reserved in some areas, I do think that God is pushing us to talk because there's so much going on, y'all. There's so much we are seeing as Christian children. And I do think it's time for us to really get out and start talking and making our voices heard. So I do think in this season, God is definitely going to push us. He's definitely pushing me right now to just get in front of this camera and talk. And I pray that through this podcast, y'all will see this and y'all will be able to get out and talk too because I think that this is going to be a community where we build a safe space and then we're going to go out and build safe spaces of our own um, of our own, um, and have all of these great safe space across the world where we can just have our voice be heard. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to um, hear about it and um, all the things. I'm just excited that God will use me um, just to be one of the voices um, to just talk in, in this generation. So y'all, um, for this first episode, I do want to talk about my testimony. So <laughs> um, I'm giggling because my testimony is interesting of how I came back to God. Um, so when I was little, I did go to church. My grandmother gave her life over to God. Um, and from there, we kind of just went to church every Sunday, um, or basically every Sunday, right? Um, and I remember going to Sunday school, enjoying it, getting a word, um, going. It was like this um children's church so while the adults was downstairs we were upstairs um have a children's church where we play games but also learned about god um and i remember being on the church choir so i did like a lot of different things within the church and it was cool but during that time i don't think i had a relationship with god i was just learning who god was um so when I got to college, it was kind of like a turning point. Like I knew God, I knew I wanted to live for God. I knew, you know, I am a Christian woman. I know that, um, but I just did not have relationship with him. Um, in 20, in, you know, in high school, yeah, going to church, kind of like seeing, you know, learn who God is, um, still going to church, you know, figuring things out. But in 2020, what was that, 2011? I went to school really realizing that like I really need to start knowing who God is like of course I pray here and there but I didn't really have a relationship with him um because you start to it, it'd be different things in college like it'd be different tasks and and, and all of all these different deadlines you gotta meet um so you kind of just like you can't depend on it like you know you need something else other than just your friends and your community like that's cool but you gotta pray like for real like you need something way high, higher than you like I don't know how to put it like you need something other than just you and your friends like you need God like for real like you really do need God in school I mean you got anyway but like that was like my reintroduction to real world like I like that's when I realized oh I'm not in my grandmother's house no more I'm in school now and I gotta come back with this degree I need God <laughs> period 
Um, and yeah. <laughs> so, um, I just remember, I don't know if this was, was this my sophomore year? Because freshman year, no, I, I don't think this was freshman year. I feel like this was sophomore year going into junior year. Or junior year going into senior year. One of them pivotal moments. Because I feel like freshman year, you just get in. You doing your big one. You know what I'm saying? It's new. Sophomore year, you like, oh, I'm getting the hang of this thing. Um, junior year, you like, oh, shoot, I'm about to graduate. Senior year, you like, oh, no, I'm about to go into the real world. <laughs> so I feel like it was one of them turning points. Um um I feel, I feel like it might have been junior year to senior year anyway it was one of them years and me and my cousin and one of her me and my cousin and one of her friends at the time um we decided that we wanted to do like this 30-day task thing where we would um read a part of a, a chapter in um like this book and we would do the activity and we would grow our relationship with god and we would, like getting more closer to god we just doing all these different things um so that we can better ourselves all all of that right so i remember we have, unfortunately we did not finish it the 30 days um but i remember it was like a time where i was just looking at horoscopes every day every morning i would look at the horoscope um and i remember after like while we were doing the um activity like 30 day activities um it was maybe like day three or day four day five it's, it's, it was like three day four it was either like day three day four day five and i remember like hey cousin because she was going to church and everything like that i was like hey cousin can you ask your pastor if it's okay to read horoscopes and she was like um i'll ask him but if you feeling like it's not okay if you feeling like there's some type of pull to not read it then you probably shouldn't read it she was like, you probably shouldn't be reading it every morning. She's like, if you feel like there's something wrong, then there's probably something wrong. And I forget exactly how she said it, but she said it along the, along those lines, like something like that. And I was like, okay. Like, I don't know if I told her that I, you know, I take that as a word from the Lord. Um, but I was like, okay, bet. And I remember, because I did feel like God was like, you're doing too much. You're waking up every morning. You're not even praying. And you you looking at a horoscope on your on your iPad. Like that, on your, um, not iPad. On your, what we had back then? Um, not iPads. What do we have? On your iPod. At, every day on my iPod, I would look at my horoscope. And I felt like he was like, yeah, you're doing too much. <laughs> so when he said that, I was like, okay, I deleted off my iPod. I deleted the app off my iPod. And I really haven't gone back to reading no horoscopes um, because I just felt like God, God talks to me in like repetition. So he'll continuously like repeat things to me. And y'all, I feel like this is another topic we could get into during the podcast, but I feel like God talks to you in the form of your love language. So my love language is words of affirmation show. So I like to hear things over and over and over again. Like I, I want to be affirmed. So I want you to speak life into me. Like I want you to just continuously tell me you doing good. Like, hey girl, you, you look good. Hey girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want, you know what I'm saying? I need to be um, affirmed constantly. So I feel like he speaks to me through repetition. So I felt like God just kept was kept like, hey, don't do this every morning. Just stop doing this. Stop doing this. Stop doing this. To the point where I asked my cousin. She was like, if you feel something wrong, it's probably something wrong. And I was like, okay, bet. Delete off my iPod and then go back. Um, so that was kind of like the turning point where I'm like, mm -mm, I don't need to listen to horoscopes. I don't need to read horoscopes anymore. And then after that, me graduating, y'all, um, oh, that was a rough time for me because I had an interview, y'all, the day after my graduation. So I graduated on a Saturday. I had an interview on a Sunday um, in New York City, back home. And I didn't get the job. I didn't end up getting the job. And then after that, I just felt like I kept hearing, no, 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 no. Um, a lot of people were just like, you need to have experience. I'm trying to figure out how I need how I need, how I'm going to have experience. I'm just getting out of school and nobody wants to hire 
so what how what experience so it was kind of just like me being frustrated right i um, mean hearing no 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 and i remember one lady who gave me kind of like hope she was just like you have to go do these classes and then I, we can hire you like you'll be hired on the spot so it was this dsp courses so direct support professional courses that i needed to take and then come back and she will hire me so i would just felt hope from that like i was like okay finally like this door is like halfway open it's not closed like she ain't closed she ain't say no she just halfway opened it for me she gave me some resources and she was like we will hire you on the spot once you get this so um afterwards you know she encouraged me but i still just felt like I, I i would like a lot of people was questioning my degree at that point like you know they was like well you know a lot of people would be like so you did four years and now what like you, you where's the job like you know what i'm saying like it's just a lot of people just like what do, what are you gonna like what's the benefits of this degree <laughs> so i just was like hearing that and i kind of like was getting discouraged still but trying to you know keep my head up trying to keep going um, and I just remember one Sunday um, after watching a sermon, because I still was not technically going to my grandmother's church anymore, um, because I wanted to find my own church. And I was like, well, while I'm trying to figure out where my church is at, let me listen to these sermons. So I was listening to church sermons online. And I remember this after the sermon, I kind of just was like, God, I need like I need a hug. I'm like I need a hug. I was like I just keep hearing nose after nose from these jobs. I'm like nobody has hugged me, you know, since my graduation. Basically, like nobody has congratulated me. Like for 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 keep going, even though you know I'm hearing these nose. Like nobody is encouraging me in this point. I'm like I need a hug. I was like I don't know who you gonna send. I was like I don't know who you gonna send downstairs. Whether it's my god sister, my godmother, somebody. I'm like I don't know if my grandmother gonna hug me i don't know but i need a hug y'all i remember like me just crying out on the bathroom floor like bent over the tub like crying out just like sad and then i just feel the presence of the lord engulf me in a hug y'all it was so beautiful like i just started weeping like you hug me you hug you hug me you hurt me you hug me like y'all i'm in the bathroom like weeping like I had that encounter with him and just like weeping um but after that like that was like a turning point and me wanting to build a relationship with him like it just stopped being surface level for, for for god like it started being like oh you you hear me Oh, okay. <laughs> like it stopped being surface level. I'm like, bet, like you heard me. Um, I'm about to build this relationship with you. Now, I'm not saying it was perfect, y'all, because I still had this idea that I was young and turned. Like, okay, I saw some info this is new when influencing just was starting. But people who I liked on YouTube, they was young. They was out partying, going to clubs, all these things. I'm like, I didn't really do that in um, college. Like, of course, I went to parties in college, but our college was so small and things like that. It wasn't no big university where you go on to parties every weekend. Like, we had a party once every weekend. Like, that such as, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we did our own little things um, on the weekends, but. Um, it wasn't no big elaborate parties that we had all the time. So coming home, I'm like, I'm like, well, I'm about to be young and turn. Like, even though I'm having a relationship with God, I'm I'm still like being lukewarm. Like I had that encounter with him. I'm like, all right, I know I want to build my relationship with God, but I want to go out here and be young and turn, y'all. Young and trying to be young and turned. Ooh, I bumped my head. Okay, I bumped my head and was like, nope, I don't need to learn another lesson in this. I don't need to be young and turned. And it's so funny because God is like, I'm, while I'm trying to build my relationship with Him, He's telling me about generational wealth. He's like, He's working on me on my healing. Like he is telling me about breaking generational curses. Like he is talking to me about buying houses. Like, so I got him over here, like trying to download stuff into me, but I still want to be over here being young and turn until I bumped my head and I said, okay, lesson learned. I don't have to go through it 
10,000 times for me to learn this lesson. I'm good. I bumped my head and ever since then. We have been trying to be on a straight path with God. And I'm not saying that it has been easy peasy, one, two, threesy. No, it has not been. But I don't have to be out here trying to be young and tired. Okay. Um, yeah, I learned my lesson with that. <laughs> because that was too much and I might get into it in a later podcast but it was just a lot that I like I I mean I could have done without it because I mean I feel like I had I feel like everything happened for a reason I needed that moment so that I could stop like you know what I'm saying that I could stop I bumped my head okay stop because one thing about it baby I can learn a lesson from somebody else and it don't take me five ten times to learn to bump my head mm-mm I do it one time. I'm like, okay, I learned from that. We cool. <laughs> we cool. Um, so, yeah, after that, y'all, I was just like, I feel like I have been trying to be in relationship with him. Now I'm trying to get back into falling back in love with God because I think it was a situation and I might get into this later within my podcast. Um, it was a situation where I stopped like trusting God. Um, and I don't even know why, because he still was showing so much mercy in the situation. Like, he still is showing so much mercy in the situation, but because it didn't pan out how like I wanted it to, um, I, I kind of like lost a little trust and I'm trying to just get back in love with him and trust him. Um, and stop treating him like, oh, I'm about to go into therapy, therapy mode. Because um, I'm learning a lot. Like, I am learning. I sometimes look at God like I look at humans. And God is nowhere near him. Like, he, 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 you know, he created us. But he ain't nothing like us. Like, he all the way up here. Like, we right here. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, um i have to get back and fall in love with him again um so y'all oh my gosh we about to get deep i feel like i feel like god is about to take us deep y'all y'all ready for this oh gosh am i ready for this all right prepare me jesus because i feel like god is gonna try to get deep on us um but yeah so episode one is our it's just about my testimony. Um, I do feel like I am in a vulnerable state with God right now where I am truly trying to depend on him, trying to be radically obedient in this hour and do it immediately and not hold off on it. Because I think I could get in my head about my goals and what it is that I want to do and I exhaust myself and then I don't want to do it because now I done thought about the ending and God is like, you didn't even start so to whoever this is for start i started so you start okay this is my first episode and we gonna have more episodes i started you gotta start you have to start and y'all hold me accountable if i begin to slack off and not upload y'all need to hold me accountable and be like um where's the rest of the podcasts and <laughs> hold me accountable i'm gonna try to hold y'all accountable i am gonna hold y'all accountable not try i'm gonna hold y'all accountable as y'all hold me accountable and we're gonna do this thing because our voices matter every introvert that clicks every introvert that clicks on this video your voice matters like you matter like i don't care i know we get comfortable with just being like in our own worlds you know being comfortable just doing our routines but we gotta really get out and reintroduce ourselves so i'm happy to um start this podcast i'm so excited to see what god is going to do through this podcast thank you father for just entrusting me to just um be one of the voices 
in this season to speak to your people. And I pray that we just build this community and it just be great. So I'm excited to see what God is going to do. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode one, season one of Oh She Talks Cause She Does. <laughs> and I know you do. And y'all could just go around saying, oh, he talks. Oh, she talks. Yes, we do. We talk, we talk, we talk. And we're going to start getting more comfortable and going out there and being more extroverted like. All right, we need to introduce our extroverted side. <laughs> I'm excited, y'all, to get into this season of podcasting. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love y'all. Bye.